It's crazy how Freya, the goddess of love and fertility and all these things, she, her weakness, she's, she's beginning to crumble and I see it. It's her feeling. Someone that's trying to manipulate and gaslight and just, you know, monopolize other people's love. Their downfall is their own feelings. Belle saying, nah, I can fix you was crazy. And Freya looks startled. She showed a moment of vulnerability where I was like, I think we can actually do this. And I think that other characters of the Freya family, Hedin, for example, he was being very sus. Otara and Horn, I think they're also, you know, doing some stuff behind the scenes. But there's people who realize that this is not the Freya that we want her to be. You're going down the wrong path. And I think that there's going to be some internal coup to kind of help Belle overcome this Alice in Wonderland gaslighting situation that's happening. Hestia, remember, still has that letter. Hermes, when the time is right, that's gonna happen. Ryu has been offered a threesome to have a kid, but she says no. Aspie is still around. And how is this all gonna be settled? Let's find out today's episode. Still training? Relax! Ah, it's good training for Vel, but goddamn. Even Freya family are looking like, yo, this is a bit too much. <laughs> even Vaughn. Even Vaughn is like, yo, 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 yo. Usually we're at like an 8 out of 10 and just brutalizing Bell. You're cranking it up to like a 13 right now. What's happening, Hedin? Uh, Hedin, I think, is still helping us out. I think he ultimately wants to like help Bell. <laughs> He's so good at physical melee martial arts too, on top of magic. <laughs> They're saying it's too much. They're the ones saying it's these dudes who are being so mean and just like so just violent. This is overkill. To them, this is overkill. Now, why is Hedin doing this? In order to show that like he is not sus. I think he's overcompensating right now because he's obviously gonna do some shit behind the scenes. <laughs> My foe. Okay. Just a bunch of sims. Okay. That was a line there. Our goddess wishes for one thing and your duty is making that wish come true. I'm trying to see if there's any hidden messages that Hedin is saying that we could perceive to be like, you know, Hedin is doing this in order to take down this Freya who's going crazy. There it is, the hero. Oh, it's mentioned again. Bell Cranel's desires. Oh, you're gonna help us? Look at that blush from Fred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even when I fall into the meme of chaos, he is kind enough to interact with me. <laughs> Bro, this is a fucking line. Uh -huh. A bit excessive, bro. Ah, you're becoming more sus actually by standing out. I thought that he was trying to stand out a bit too much and brutalizing Belle to prove that he would never betray Freya, but uh, this is actually working the opposite way. It's Freya. And Freya is the one kind of crumbling. Uh oh. Yeah, it's the whole like. What's wrong, Freya? I'll save you for it, right? She is, she's in her own head. She is living rent-free in her own head. Maybe you're wrong. Admit it. <laughs> Gotta keep my mental breakdown, bro. <laughs> the only way to save Freya right now from stop doubting herself is to give Belle a mental fucking breakdown. Is Christ in it? Christ in it? Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Anya. Tachi tachi subjects. 
What's Otara doing? He never does anything. Right? He just sits there. He just stands and looks out the window. What, what are you busy doing, bro? What are you, what are you doing, bro? I, I still feel like heading. Maybe I read him wrong. Maybe the whole taking ownership of his education and stuff was because Hedin himself is the most loyal to Freya and wants to really break down Bell. I thought that he was trying to do a little bit too much to, you know, I don't know, protect his, uh, his loyalty. And behind the scenes, he would, like, you know, help Freya out in a different way. But something is, something is weird, right? I I'm, du I'm, I'm double thinking it now, right? I'm second guessing myself, but... In the back of my head, I want to believe that Hedin is still scheming something for our side and just being very brutal. Hestia. Why? If it doesn't exist, then we can forget about it. Aww. Wonder if anything here will rekindle the memories of Bell. Hmm. Bell's armor. Gee, I wonder who. Sugoku mentioned. All things coming back to rekindle the memories. Okay. Gee, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she doesn't really have a pocket, does she? <laughs> Where's she keeping the letter? Inside. Mentally break, too. Freya herself. Yeah, they're panicking so hard, man. Like, how are you losing? How is it possible? Like, it's crazy how, you know, the entire city is gaslit. The entire city is gaslit. You only have one per- Well, there's some people like this. The entire city is gaslit and you have one person that you're trying to convince. But that person right now, even though isolated and brutalized and tortured over and over again, it's, they're losing. Freya's feelings. She can't cut that emotion off. And there's something so ironic about what she represents and her losing to her own feelings, man. Wait, 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 you got another one? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she, she got a titty pocket? She also has a wrist pocket. Okay. Now, Bell's not breaking. When the time is right, show Hermes the letter. We're being gaslit. I mean, it's just a huge training arc. What is your purpose? He's losing it. Oh shit, he's actually losing. He's also breaking. Uh oh, uh oh. Freya. Time to be gassed by Freya again. <laughs> Here we go again. You just want to sleep in bed? I don't trust you. You're going to pounce me. No. Oh, really? Freedom. Go back to my family. Yes, someone's love. But you can't give that to me. Damn, he's so empty. I want nothing. Yes, that's why I fell in love with you. He's, you're so boring. <laughs> no, no, no. It's about the purity and the innocence and stuff like that, but it's crazy that, like, Belle just exists and everyone's like, Oh my god, peak, peak! Oh, shit. I reject your love. No. Bell, don't. No. Don't listen to this foul wench. Her siren songs are soothing you. You're gonna drown. No. That's right. Onna. This is an onna behavior, bro. Nah, this is just comfort. <gasps> He's giving up. 
Seer. Step up, Bell. I need to sleep. <laughs> Bro just fell asleep. Bro, it just fell asleep and he's crying right now. Yeah, um, about that. <laughs> Ray is like, I prep for nothing. Well, she did say we're just gonna sleep in bed, no, nothing else, okay? She did say nothing else. We're sleeping in bed. This is what you wanted, bitch. Don't act like, you know, you want us on strokes tonight. Now, that whole part with Belle sympathizing towards Sears' tears. Why did I make her cry? Why did this all happen? Once he realizes the truth, what will Belle think? Rather than lashing out at Freya, I bet like... Bell will accept Freya. He'll like hug her and Freya might even start crying and collapse. I feel like once the truth comes out, that'll truly show Bell's, you know, kind nature. And he'll accept her rather than lash out and be like, you fucking lied to me this entire time. Oh my god, I hate you. I, I don't think that's the way that it's gonna go. <laughs> she don't exist, man. <laughs> Dude, you get gaslit enough. Am I crazy? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I'm losing sight of what's real and wrong. I, like, this is what happens, bro. Crazy people keep calling you crazy over and over again. You start doubting yourself. Hmm. Mm. That was a very abstract answer. Whether your behavior is sacrilegious or not makes no difference. Move forward, which really hints that heading is on our side. If he wanted to shut Bell down, he would have simply said, you are fucking crazy. Seer doesn't exist. Go take your meds. But he's as if telling him, like, don't give up. Keep going. Okay. Stop following. No more surveillance. Like what? Oh, really? Do we know this girl? Loki family eye stuff. Lady Riveria. Do we know her? Have we ever seen her? I don't remember this shit at all. Important new characters? Loki family though. Their presence from the lower, lower, lower dungeons. They're coming up, and this is gonna buy us time. Okay, Riveria. Lady Riveria. This is, a uh, back in Season 1 shit? Not new Season 1. Again, Season 1 content, my mind is just fucking just gone. It, it, like, Season 1 content, like, knowledge is, like, not even there. All I remember is, like, the Minotaur bell fight, and that's pretty much it. Season 1 is sort of oratoria. Got it. Lady Riveria. Okay. Elf. Nice and, and more. There's some interesting designs here, right? We got like a belly dancer kind of looking girl. I don't know what the hell design is on the left. Uh, there's some important characters in Loki family. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, that's right. The other thing, right? Existing, you know, adventurers deeper in the dungeon that haven't been charmed will show up and that's like a liability. But like, you really think they can get charmed like that? I don't know, I feel like Loki family will pull up a fight. Alfrig. Okay. Heading on our side for sure, for sure, for sure, bro. Like, just removing all surveillance off of Bell, hinting that Bell should just keep forging on. Him only, you know, looking over belt like, oh my god, Hedin is clutching for us, even though he abuses us so hard. Rabbit's foot Loki? No, 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 no. Oh, this is important. This is the, uh, uh, fuck. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck what was his name? Or not Oradio, or 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 what was his name? The dude on the chair, Orsted Ora Oranos. 
<laughs> not Oranos. That's Michelle Gutierrez. Oranos, right? There was a code word because Oranos' followers is also charmed. So Oranos and Hestia were talking in code names, right? There's like they're saying, yeah, uh, Lord Ganesha and them, you know, they can't do that. Oh, also, I just remember going to Ganesha. Ganesha is the guy that says, <laughs> "My name is Ganesha." That's all he does, right? I remember suddenly. Past seasons. That's all his lines. I am Lord Ganesha. <laughs> that's, that's his lines, bro. Anyways, this is Oranus' plan shit with Hestia. Mm. So it's, there's some stuff happening behind the scenes. Okay. The firewood. Ganesha found him missing. Burr. Psychotic. You don't believe that. You don't mean this. Real. Mm -hmm. He's close. Mamma mia. Yo, yo, mamma mia. Give us some fucking lore drops right now. Who are you? Why are you so important? Why are you level six? Why are your family scared of you? You, you, talk. Talk to me right now. You come back. Come back. Wait, 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 wait. Get your ass back here. Hi. Since I promised not to interfere when that day finally came, the goddess of interest right now has to be Freya. Freya and Mamma Mia made a promise. Why? That day. Yo, Mamma Mia! Mamma Mia! Here we go, here we go, Lord Drop, Lord Drop, Lord Drop. Juicy. You see, Mamma Mia, Lord. I've been waiting for this shit for so fucking long. It's like, who are you? Why are you so strong looking? Why are you level six? Are you an ex adventurer? Like, what are you? Freya family. Half resigned. Okay. Outcast. Okay. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Alright. Whoever's surviving at the end. You say fight on. Don't give up as long as you're alive. That's what matters at the end of the day. Are you implying that? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep going. Yeah, all right. Ain't no customers in this place right now. You're prepping food right now. Getting the way business. I guess she has to prep food. All right, all right. I'll take that crumb. I'll take that crumb of lore. Mamma mia. Ex Freya family. Half resigned. Meaning. Not really active, but not really retired. Just chilling here. The day it came, she cannot interfere. That's the promise. Maybe the half resignation is the uh, reward for, you know, that promise of, all right, you can just chill and work at this tavern and retire, kind of. But you cannot interfere when that day comes from me. And Anya, because also Freya family relations, Mamma Mia took in Anya off of those connections. And also, exactly, Seer working here makes so much more sense, right? It's not a random tavern they picked, right? Mamma Mia was here, so... Damn, that must be so awkward. That, that must be so Think of it from Mamma Mia's perspective. Like, you know who Freya is. And you know who Seer is. And think about her being like, What the fuck? This roleplay is kind of creepy. <laughs> like, this is really you right now? What the fuck? You're being all ooh ooh ooh, ooh. like this, this ain't you? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mamma Mia. <laughs> okay, that's a bit too much. What the fuck? You fucking threw <laughs> You threw a cleaver at us and look at the cut onto the ground. Mamma Mia should fight with us. Mamma Mia should absolutely fight with us. Hey! Thank you, Mr. Johan Gomez for the five tier one gifts, man. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for your generosity. Oh. Hmm. Gotta live, survive. I don't remember that shit, but yes, she's not charmed then. She's hinting. She's hinting, bro. Nah, don't give up. Nah, nah, nah. That's a loser's mindset. Survive. 
最後まで Is that some kind of code? What's the meaning? Is that some kind of code? What's the meaning? I'm here. I'm not crazy. Here we go. Yeah. Hmm? Ice. Low key family. They're not charmed, right? Here we go. Yo, the main girl. Those girls have been charmed. Something foot. No, it's looking like they are charmed right now. There was like a different group, so I assumed that they were all in the lower dungeons and they made it back up, but no, it was like a different part of the Loki Familia, you know, centering around Lady Riveria that was under, you know, the dungeon right now, right? I just realized. This one has a bigger bus size than this one. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> I guess they're trying to appeal to different audiences, right? The twins. They're twins, right? Anyways, wah wah. Okay. Nah, 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 wait. I say something. Is that instinct? Hey, that's what we always used to do. On that, you know? The narrow way at the top, some sort of like border wall, right? We're always there. Huh? Yes, yes. Lap pillow, and then lap pillow. There. The walls there. Yes. This is our spot. <laughs> Do you remember? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. He's getting a little bit more, you know affirmations from other people who has their subconscious memory so deep rooted with bell now this is confirming that i'm not crazy y'all are gaslighting me <laughs> let's go damn look at this position man bro it looks like he's proposing to her this is great this is why she's the main girl bro this is, this is why Ice is literally like the number one priority girl. Even if she's been through all these seasons, this position alone and the tears from Belle, it just signifies that. He's gotten his spirit back. Hayden realizes something's different today. They can all tell. The spirit's back. Yeah. Also, did Hedin, did Hedin even like track us all today? I wonder. Because Hedin's intention was to obviously lessen up the patrol and surveillance on Bell, so he can go out and maybe do something like this. He kept moving forward and he was talking to Ice. I wonder if he saw what happened with Ice today or he's like, oh shit, he really changed. That's right. It all happens. <laughs> God, heading is so strong, man. More lessons from the past. <gasps> cut, cut. Yeah, that's first blood. We've never landed a hit on heading before, huh? Like, that's pretty insane. He was pressed to back up really fast there and a land, you know, a hit was landed. Heading is actually so ridiculously strong. Like, it's crazy how much you know, he's good with magic, but his staff is also, like, a blade, too. And his, like, melee range attacks is still so strong. Hayden is crazy. That's right, your rival. Everyone's believing. Let's go. I got you, bro. The little smirk. Hayden. Hayden. Oh, bro. He's helping us out. Hayden might be the VIP. Sorry, MVP of this season. Eh, maybe that's wrong to say, but I think heading from the beginning, he's been giving us so much content with like training us on how to date properly and all the way throughout until here, helping us out, even though he's basically killing us. Like heading is such an important character for season five. <laughs> he means well. It's just crazy that as soon as I said that, <laughs> what the fuck is the timing? 
this. Yeah, yeah, he means well. No, he means well. It's just goddamn the timing of this. Bruh. Okay. This place is fancy. This is Loki stuff? No, Hermes stuff. Yo, the firewood. Yo, what are they delivering? Exactly. Lord Ganesha's, you know, family can't do the firewood shit. What's happening here? What are you delivering? Is there secret messages? What's happening? Yeah, Hermes, what's the plan? Huh? Oh. He's aware. He's aware. The effects of the charm. Oh, shit. Hermes so crafty. Hestia oh. mm, might have something. Okay, Hermes is aware. So he did get charmed, but he has his own way of figuring out. Oh, shit. Am I looping? I am looping. Something's off here. Hestia, where you at? This is the time. The time is right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Like all that prep, bro. He plans so much ahead. Dude, Hermes is actually crazy. Hermes is insanely smart. Like the setup, the foresight to have done this before all this happened. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh my god. You see this jawline? You, you, you see this shit from Hermes, bro? He locked the fuck in. Jeez! You can hide that. It's too sharp. He is mogging us. Mm. <laughs> there it is. I think he realized. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he's doing it, he's doing it. He's so close. Mm -hmm. Unless someone shows up and Hermes is able to relay this kind of information. I don't know. Because Hestia is still in play. Asfi also. When the time is right, the letter. Letter. Pass me left something in the head. Dude, he's such a giga brain. This is crazy. It's it's actually unreal how intelligent Hermes is. The logical deductions, all these different mechanics to kind of prove that the world is fucking looping for him at least, and the memories keep getting wiped away. These little little breadcrumbs that he's left there, and now it's all coming together. Mm -hmm. Aspi gone too, very sus. Hestia? Is it time? <gasps> Please come back, baby! In the middle of the street! Ooh! But that's that's typical Hermes, bro. I mean, look at this. The girls are blushing. The girls are blushing, bro. This is Hermes Riz right now. Come back, baby! Got it, got it. <laughs> Such a giga chat, bro. There's no way any normal person could just scream these cringe lines out in public. Then, you know, smirk like this and simply move on. <laughs> Mission accomplished. And everyone else is probably thinking, who the fuck is that guy? What the hell? <laughs> Social anxiety is scared of a Hermie. <laughs> Look at that, he just walks away. <laughs> This is it. This is Asfi's link. Did he eat it all? He did eat it all. Mm -hmm. Hestia's divinity, the power. So what does that mean? Right? Make a heart out of Orario. Heart, right? The entire thing will become that. Hestia will just lit a fire underneath Orario. Hmm. Asfi. Alright. Everything's looking pretty good. 
And that is another episode of Damachi. Things are looking a lot more triumphant today. Up until now, it's just like, what's gonna happen? Everyone's gaslit, everyone's confused. But last episode showed some cracks in the mirror. Sorry, cracks in the armor for Freya with her feelings getting in the way, right? She knows she did wrong, but she doesn't want to, you know, stop. But she's ruminating. Heading then, taking extra steps and measures to make sure that, you know, Bell surveillance is only me. Heading is contributing so much. Ice giving that, you know, a confirmation that she does, you know, kind of remember about like instinctively should we be training up there. The skills that's been taught proves that Bell's not crazy. Hestia finally being able to relay that letter to Hermes as everything comes together. Hermes just having the fucking genius IQ to set these little breadcrumbs here so that he can be aware of these memory resetting even though, literally, he just keeps looping. Insane. Insane. It's, it's, it's just crazy. Hermes is crazy. Obviously, asking Hermes is crazy, right? You know, uh, Hestia will become really uh, important in the future because her powers is the thing that's going to counter this at the very end. So she has yet to pop off just yet. Ryu? She's in the dungeon. She's in. The, she, we didn't see her today. She's in Freya family dungeon after being offered a threesome with Bell, right? Bell, you know, doing better than before, even though he almost cracked. Heading in, you know, is obviously clutching. Mamma Mia as well. It's actually crazy how many characters are still kind of like around for us. Mamma Mia lore. Mamma Mia ex Freya family. Half resignation in order to not, you know, get in the way of that day. And then also, Ice's family from the lower levels coming up. There's a separate. Not Isis family, Loki family, with Lady Riveria and shit. I'm not sure if Heading, you know, um, used that as a convenient excuse to kind of re remove the surveillance, but maybe the timing was perfect and they are showing up. So all of these things are different pieces are moving the puzzle right now. And Freya, what's she gonna do? Is she gonna do one last crash out or will she, you know, accept her L and move on? Only one way to find out. That's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.